What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. And to round off what happened last time, we finally declared war um, on Sweden with a couple of very messy battles that didn't really go to plan. But I think the movement now is to bring Damat Ali in from the uh, northwest to go and intercept and destroy these forces. So then these three, or these, most of these Ottoman armies, are they? No, three armies. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, they can be deployed to hit Stockholm and Norway. We do have forces that are in a good position to actually push on to Copenhagen itself. So let's march these chaps north. Whoa! Okay, good, 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 good. We do not want to push into them and get intercepted. We want to replenish my men. So let's fall back. <laughs> that was a bad call. But we do have lots of troops in position that are in various states of repair. We will need to push and take Stuttgart out, which will be interesting. And we're also in uh, in northern Italy as well. This force is able to go straight for the Italian states. But I'd probably have to fight my way through this force here. Ah, yes, some new chaps down here in North Africa. You can now march on, because these guys are probably going to be enough to hold on to the town. I suppose not. Uh, let's actually take some of these Janissaries out of Malta. Deploy them aboard this ship. And let's... Come on, there we go. March them into, the, into Tripoli. Just to help settle them down. Oh, that's not enough. If I take this light galley and deploy them to Valletta, can I take my entire garrison out of Valletta? I can, because their resistance to foreign occupation is shrinking massively. So then let's deploy you guys also to Tripoli. Get down to minus two, I can deal with that. Let's take this third rate, it's definitely too much. For this for garrison duties um, at some point we will have to declare war on Spain but I suppose the best way to do that would be probably to declare on New Spain although New Spain isn't even allied with um, Spain at all now weirdly um, but yes we are pushing hard and fast across the continent and it's it's going really well uh, this spy send you forward infiltrate Flanders. Or to infiltrate Brussels, I suppose, is the technically t correct term. Um, Zagreb has a madrasa, so this guy could probably push on and start to convert Naples. It's probably about time I do start going through some of these rear areas and going, do I need these madrasas and religious buildings like Moscow they're very happy they have no religious problems so let's knock down their religious building they have no religious disorder problems and we are sufficiently far behind the lines that's probably not gonna be a problem I at least want Islam to be the dominant religion in the region by some margin so I probably want it to be close to 60 ish percent call and still growing Petersburg is gonna start growing Riga is converting as well. To be honest, I don't think there's a lot we can do at the moment. No. Yeah, we made peace with the Mughals. A temporary peace, I'm sure. But let's take our small navy. Sail it back to our port. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Park in the pirate island. In the pirate's port. This is almost effectively safe harbour because I've I've got this zone of control which means their army can't actually get to the port to kick me out which is pretty neat um, but I don't think there's a lot I can do our research is getting toward the end game now we've got all the military industrial we've got all the political and industrial techs so the military techs are the last thing to do we've got machined rifling which means we can get some decent riflemen how are things going down here? Like I said, we, oh, we did make peace. 
so these men can continue to march up towards the border. Ready to put uh, Mughal territories at risk. Or Mar uh, yeah, Mughal territories at risk. You guys can probably push up to the desert. Esfahan is recruiting a handful more troops, but we can't do any recruiting because we have no money. So let's hit end turn. And let's see what the response is. I mean, it's probably because we have so many men. That's the reason why we don't have a significantly positive treasury at this point. I do hope to change that, however. I very much do hope to change that. Looks like Prussia might be sending a navy. Oh, thought they might be sending a navy south to intercept us. There go the Prussian agents. They probably lost the majority of their own schools, so they have to uh, they have to go and attempt to uh, steal my technologies. Yep, you need to reorganise, re-equip your troops, combine them together, because we're smashing in. They demand Corellia, which is... there. You demand peace. Who are you to demand peace? Refuse. That's right, you better run. We're coming to get you, Sweden. One of my armies is going to march north to push well when we take finland we're going to want to push their uh, well, it looks like they're just going to let us have it well they've fallen back in order to allow them to combine their armies into a greater force which does make sense i suppose um but it's not going to help them the Mughals are moving up they're definitely going to invade someone it looks like they're going to invade spain oh we've knocked down one of our universities because we no longer need it i remember that so you can go and steal technologies if you want. <gasps> okay, that might be all of the signal I need to attack the Italian states. They're sailing troops eastward and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. You have no business to be further east or south than Sicily. Misrata and Tripoli. Okay, let's build a craft workshop. They'll settle down. Let's build some... Build some uh, mob. This force can go and lay siege. Yeah, just lay siege to the city for now. Actually, we're in... That's their last city. They've given that territory... Well, they've traded that territory with Sweden for something. Because that was... Venetian. Through severe diplomatic manoeuvring, they've managed to jump the gun. Okay, let's go do some economy upgrades. Actually, let's go to the construction tab to do that. So the Ford Madrasas, they can be upgraded. Keep upgrading our key industry and economy upgrades. Bosnia's got some good upgrades. Okay, this force march up to northern Italy. Let's upgrade the farms. Ordnance board in Persia. Let's keep the military upgrades going here. King of Bavia. Let's upgrade you. Let's upgrade this building in Moscow. I mean, they're, they're going to be a bit unhappy. Oh, they've got summer religious unrest. That's a surprise. Archangelsk is still, we're still converting them. I mean, they're pretty happy. I can deal with a bit of religious unrest in Moscow. Keep upgrading 
all of St. Petersburg's buildings. It's already fully converted near it. Well, it is fully converted. Damn. Okay, so this guy can push. This guy, this guy's going to march south, ready to force all their troops away. Let's take this force here. Can we demand surrender, even though they've got reinforcements nearby? We can. So here's everyone nearby. Yeah, you need to get uh, into the region pretty ricky tick. So you're on full strength. Let's try and see if we can get some fortifications built. This army that needs repairs. More replenishment. As do you. So you men replenish. Get ready to sail east or west, sorry. Let's take. Oh, we've got a port up here. Right at the tippy top. Let's upgrade it to a trade trading port. You're still replenishing. As are you. You're full strength. Our best chance is to probably a straight shot towards Stuttgart, fight a city battle, capture the city quickly before these others get in. Okay, you infiltrate Paris. Let's see what lies ahead of us. Pretty sure we don't need this spy in Stuttgart because we've got we're up at the border now. Triply they're on strike, but that's not a problem. Okay, we're keep recruiting in Prague. I might actually halt off recruiting for a bit, just because our income does need to get better. I mean, we're getting a crazy amount of income per turn. But we are easily spending it. Um, but I am convinced this might be a good decision. It's a bunch of fifth rates. I'm not even going to fight it. Let's take. Just for overkill. Declare war. Let's call. Oh, I'm going to call my allies in to hope. Hope. Spain betrays me. Trade agreement with Genoa has been cancelled. Okay, workers are on strike. Why am I not? Good, we've lost our alliance with Spain. We've lost trade with Spain. They've joined the Italian states, which is useful for us. Because then it means this army can clear out their fleet. Not interested in your brig. This Italian army is sunk. Sail the ship to raid a Spanish port while I bring these guys in here for repairs. This army under Hassan Nadim. You guys embark. Put Naples under siege. And that's a very depleted garrison already. The grenadiers are already already gone. We're now at war with Genoa, so I might actually not hold off, but, you know, actually build up a bit of a bit of a defensive line. Or instead, um, well, actually, I could probably push No. I'll take Naples, wait till I get Rome, besieged and then both these armies can swing west and lay siege to Genoa and Milan at the same time. That's probably a good call. So let's probably do... Well, let's make sure we've got people and... Well, people that we can siege sieged. I suppose I don't want to fight this yet. So I think it's probably better we take Mr. Nadim. Let's go hit the garrison at Naples. So the garrison can hit Naples, then hit Rome, be transferred west to go land on to Sardinia and Corsica. And then we'll have opened up the Franco-Italian border 
to allow some of our troops to uh, attack the uh, Prussians based in Paris from the south. Beautiful position. Okay, artillery on the hill. Okay, let's set up. Bunch of infantry on one flank. We've got a couple of Nizam that are going to be on the left just to help maintain some protection of our artillery. Our cavalry is going to be aggressive. Put some melee infantry alongside our main line. Keep our general with the camels. How it says open up. Again, look. Camels out on the far, on the far flank. Charger, Mamelukes into the regiment of horse. Yeah, I anticipated this move. You guys dump into square. Ah, they tricked me. Mortar is not even firing. Push my cavalry in. Not going to survive to do much damage. Charge my infantry into the back of their cavalry. Some of my gunners have abandoned their cannons. These guys aren't even, aren't even firing. I oh, see they're doing what they norm they're doing their, what they, their thing again, where they just trot away from the line. It's like no, that's not what you're. It's not what you're about. Okay, that's some danger close. Quick fire, quick line shenanigans I don't want to be a part of. my back. Yeah, siege guns are upset, but their regiment of horse is likely to fall to our camels. Charge my cavalry on forward, push up my left flank, bend my... Actually, maybe not that unit, they've already fired. These men engage the carabiners. Okay, finally. So they abandoned my damn great guns. Fly by ranks, doing some good work on the troops in the centre. Where's my general? Let's get him out of the way. Let's go and start to attack some of these 8-inch mortars to the rear. To be honest, that's probably where my cavalry's going to go straight after this engagement. Ignore the uh, battle on the field immediately, or almost entirely. Push up my flank here, although I can't seem to deploy them any better than that. Now you intercept the howitzers, let's get my Mamelukes through the defences delicately and go and hit those garrison troops. So my demi cans aren't even. Now they want to fire. If we turn fire, will off and on again. Yeah, 
there we go, they've lost their artillery to the rear. Gunning down this unit of militia that's also getting quick line to Helen back. Some Mamelukes to intercept the general to the rear. Yeah, they've been broken. The general is confident. Oh, these are quite elite Mamelukes here now. No, don't run that way. Not into the spikes. Run down these irregular troops. Send the Nizam in, turn this unit of Genesis Musketeers and fire it will off. Turn off our howitzers from firing. Just bodyguard is being tricksy again. Very well. Fire it will. Yeah, they've shattered. Everyone shouted, wait a minute, you've come back. Get these men out of the way. Unit of Mamelukes versus the 4th Regiment of Militia. We've lost some men to some musketry. They're shaken, they're wavering. And they're broken. Another unit has come back from routing. Nope, they've changed their mind almost immediately. I believe that is everyone. The battlefield has been wiped clean of Catholic filth. There we go. Naples is ours. We've still got our siege guns. Let's replenish that army. Let's also go let's chuck it down outside. Let's destroy the church school. Uh, probably destroy the dry docks. We don't need them realistically. Do some fairly low tier investing. Actually, let's not do roads yet. Oh, I don't know. Eh. I could probably attack them, but I think I might spend a turn replenishing most of my northern troops. Ultimately, these guys are probably going to... Well, I suppose if we don't attack them, they'll just attack us. So we've got to go take them out. They're mostly low-quality infantry and artillery anyway. So let's go capture Tunis. They will likely... They will likely uh, welcome us with open arms. As we understand the true faith. Not like those other scum that bring the scourge of Jesus and Catholicism. I mean, I suppose, I know Jesus is a prophet in the Quran, but whatever. Let's put our guns up on, or at least our field artillery, onto this hill to crack open a breach. On the flank, these guys sit here ready to open up with musketry. No, with um, howitzer shots. Let's take the bulk of our infantry, though. Put them on the flank. Ready for the attack. We've got our infantry to help protect our artillery. How it says fire quick climb. Okay, that's the first thing to do is to manually pick these guys to break down the wall. As my how it says engage with quick climb. God damn, they actually the first target. One of them went for the, the mortars. Probably not a bad idea. We are upset from the concentrated artillery fire that's coming our way. 
We probably don't want to attack the mortars so readily. We likely want to... Well, we always want to deplete, but not destroy when there's lots of reinforcements coming in. So let's keep our keep our quick plan going. We probably want to try and make a a breach sooner rather than later. It's probably increased time because we're trying to make our breach right there. I mean, I told you guys not to attack them. Focus on other troops. Because that's very handy to have two very small units nearby. Okay, the cavalry didn't like the fact we attacked them with quicklime, so they are just going to... Okay, they, they, they don't like it either. Okay, don't attack them directly, just uh, quicklime in front of them. But once we've made our breach, we are going to assault while the quicklime comes in. There we go cavalry unit has been decimated some of these infantry units on the flank are going to be very very badly damaged almost well, we have made our breach so let's make our field artillery engage the other side to see how many men we can uh, trap But I think it's probably now a good idea to uh, push. So the idea is to give them too many targets. Quicklime can probably focus on those units near the centre. Let's probably also run our camels up. Okay, to be honest, we might actually start... Well, some of them definitely have to attack the uh, troops on the walls. I want my men to come around this way, really. Because this section of the wall is the section that's not as well defended. This guy can't fire against the attacking troops because it hits the command HQ. Obviously that will only last as long as the, uh, the command HQ is standing. Why are you going for them? You have your orders. Focus on the guys in the breach, I suppose, if they're going to uh, be like that. Okay, let's start to just run guys over here. They're going to get shot on the sides by these uh, units on the wall. There's not a lot we can do about that. I hear cavalry charge. Feel free. My mounted Nizam would love it. With my camels. So I want this unit to come up here and capture the wall so I can pour men in from the rear. Probably. Well, let's not worry too much about pushing men up the wall yet. Although we're likely going to want some. So I'm 
unfortunately they are likely to get some reinforcements off. the walls. Capture the gatehouse in our name. There we go. Okay, so now you can turn that direction. You run over here and try and capture that section. Try and pour some Janissaries. Keep pouring the Janissaries in. If these men can run around, open up another gate. Run these men just in. Nope, they can't help themselves. They're being drawn into that combat so let's just hope we can run them they keep wanting to turn around and engage which obviously we don't want them to do cavalry is engaging us in the center which isn't great let's try and run this unit off the wall one of our Janus units is upset. Fine. You guys don't want to go open up this other breach. That's fine, I suppose. Let's run. Start to run these troops in. Switch these guys to round shot and get them to start engaging in the center. Okay, looks like... No, I didn't, want, I didn't even want these guys to fight in the combat over here, but it looks like they can't help themselves. Like these men don't even want them to fight. These guys still want to run and attack the the troops fighting in the front gate, which we don't want. These guys, these guys must be bugged. They're not doing anything useful. Just run your men through at times. That's what it comes down to. those guys over to that corner hit those mortar garrisons there we go now we've opened up the the front a bit more the enemies are coming in from over on that flank which is interesting to note let's turn off our howitzers because they might be doing more harm than good at this point You men keep engaging the bad guys. This gatehouse is ours. So we need to start getting men in to capture the, the, uh, the square in our favour.
I just don't want too many of my infantry stuck in the stuck in the gatehouses and in the breaches like here where they can't do anything useful. At the very least, these men can man that set of defences. Man this section of the wall to try and destroy them before they have a chance to get in. Kill that last cavalryman. What we're going to bear in mind is now, as we actually kill units, they will be coming in to the uh, entering the map. So we want to kill these colonial infantry as quickly as we can, realistically. And as long as these these men don't charge in. To the uh, charge into the centre, then we're probably going to be all right. So let's just focus on trying to kill some of the enemy. No, you guys don't. Don't. See, guys, you might come up here. These men can go and try and attack those men on the the ridge. The Janissaries attack them. Or well, the Israelis can go and attack them. These Janissaries. My God, how are still firing? They are. Charge them. Run some men to try and get into positions on the on the wall yeah, you focus on that garrison unit there because they're coming up at high speed two lots of them actually Desert Warriors are holding off my Janissary Grenadiers, but uh, I don't think they're going to make it in time. Camel Nomads and Mount Nizam. Just keep move you guys more specifically onto the central spot. So they've only got 20 seconds to get here. And most of them aren't actually here. But you can definitely see how, if you don't win, these guys can start to provide a bit of a complication. That is, of course, until you have control of the walls. And there we go. Zero seconds remaining. Good stuff. That was a bit messy towards the end. I was curious if I could actually uh, attack and secure the town in time. But there we go. They only have 150 men remaining, which means they might all die. They have. Excellent. Okay, first order of business is the replenishment of my armies down here. Because we don't need to really repair don't need a shipyard we can recruit a light galley to occupy Tripoli so sail this ship forward to occupy the port but there you go this army can push on and hit Algiers and that's all of the North African coast secured mostly looking at you Morocco um, but I think so you're all securing you're all replenishing which is what I want they're on the march towards us in the north. Okay, let's hear then turn. Onward go our priests. 
and our agents. But soon, all of Europe will be under our heel. They demand an alliance, they can offer 20 grand, and I don't want it. Sorry, Bren, we're coming to get you. Spain is limbering up. They're definitely going to be up to some shenanigans. But again, I don't think it's going to protect them. Prussia's still scrabbling to send men east. Um, but they are also going to be suffering from uh, our forces landing or assaulting uh, Paris from the south. It'll, take, it'll, be a few, it'll be a few turns before that happens, I accept. Uh, however, they destroyed they shall be. Yeah, they're combining their troops. Oh, that's going to be an interesting defensive battle. But defend we shall. Mostly just lots of, lots of artillery. To be honest, it could have been made a lot worse if they brought more of their troops to bear. Uh, but let's do it. Let's knock back these Swedish dogs. Yeah, I want one army. I want armies to sail over and land to hit Stockholm. But then I will still probably want armies to march through continental Scandinavia just to mop up any uh, any rogue remaining Swedish stacks left. Okay. Quite interesting town, to be honest. So, question is, if you split your forces evenly on both sides, you can get screwed over in both instances. But let's try it. Let's, let's create a bit of a atypical defensive line. Let's put some Nizam in that infantry. In that building, sorry, let's put some Nizam in. Oh, I can't put it in. Oh. Okay, both the towns on the flanks, they can be our strongholds. But we must be ready to redeploy as necessary if it turns out they are going to... Uh, Or do we just deploy back on this lovely hill and allow them to push through the town? That might be the better idea, just because there's so many of them. Because they can deploy... Like, if they deployed over here en masse, then this army, force on the left, is completely useless. I mean, it is right at the back of the map. I don't really like doing that, but... Probably... The better decision. But it does mean we can put my light infantry up on the hill above them because they can safely engage targets at max range without providing too much friendly fire. Artillery in one strong bastion element at the top. Yeah, we just don't really have the the men to actually split our forces in two because then they will be isolated and destroyed we do have cavalry but my cavalry will need to stay mobile in order to defeat the enemy cavalry and to defeat the enemy artillery as well good we do actually have more bit more men than I thought. Oh, come on. Okay then. Okay, we've got a home base. Quite a compact little force. Our artillery is engaging. Can't see any cannonballs on in the air. Oh, there they are. They're inbound. 
good. So he's a horse artillery team, they're pretty quick. There are the reinforcements coming in, but they're quite weak. I think all my houses are going to start bombarding this particular provincial cavalry unit on the flank. Don't really have a problem with that. Let's just imagine that. You're there marching, knowing there's somewhere over there in the distance. And then, ah, they're going to run back out of range. As the shots are inbound. Just to kill one of them. So Marta is not the best place for counter battery. Let's speed up time. Chiefly because they have attacked me. My artillery is is opening fire against them. All of my artillery is going to open up on... My, my house is going to open up on this one unit of pikemen. Which I find amusing. Militia. Vast Manland Regimente. 54th Regiment of Foot. So we're still happily going on with some of this counter-battery stuff. But it looks like they do want to form a new... They want to form a line on the outskirts of the town prior to moving up. Pikemen are going to be up front first. Is this in risk of being demolished? No. My, God, my heart is half firing over it. Good, because what I want to do really is to send my cavalry force around to come smash this element in the rear. So let's go first. Delhi horsemen, fire it will off. Let's get my cavalry element on the move. Let's get around the rear and smash this artillery base and the cavalry establishment. Ooh, yes, my howitzers are in range of Delicious quick climb. See the advantage is they'll be all if they march through the town, they will they'll be in a very poor formation by the time they get out the far side. The pikemen are responding to my cavalry advance. They've only a hundred pikemen. Our near misses are killing their cavalry. Okay, I might actually, to be honest, I might just push up. It's very tempting. I mean, I definitely could. The trouble is, they were. Yeah, they attacked me. Charging noises. Pikemen are trying to get involved. We've got some guerrilla mercenaries who are probably going to drop spikes. They are. First of all, run my cavalry. Infantry, run them over. Run my heavies and my actual cavalry in. Keep my general's bodyguard a bit safer. In come the lancers. Okay, let's.
let's push up on this flank. Probably going to be able to turn them. Let's go over here and send you guys around like so. First of all, deploy my daddy horseman into the rear of those guerrilla mercenaries, being aware we have to run around to get them back. Let's pick new targets for our artillery. Our quick climb is also coming down hard on them. Run my line infantry up, run my semats through the town. Yeah, there's some horse artillery moving up on the flank. It's not a problem. Run my general's bodyguard out of there to go take out the enemy cavalry. More musketry we do have is now being engaged. Run our hand mortars out on the flank. Keep our how it's just targeting this mass of men. You finish off the demi cannons. Horsemen are doing some good work. Okay, bring out my Janissaries. Run a unit of riflemen there. Run these riflemen through the town. Run this infantry up. Switch to round shot. Now let's limber out my artillery. To be honest, it's doing nothing back there. You could deploy stakes, you might be able to get charged by the... Okay, no, hold on, stop. You stay where you are. Run out my hand mortars. Keep my deadly horsemen away from those pikemen. Run all my cavalry back to hit those guerrilla mercenaries. and my cavalry to go hit them. You men, fire your mortars! Ready? Now fall back. This 18 pounder can conceivably engage over there, bring my howitzers further down to help fight. Run my spang into the pikemen to hopefully knock them out of commission. They are not very strong. Push the hand mortars up to engage that cavalry battle. The general's bodyguard is upset. Charge them into the line. And you men engage that cavalry combat, the poor Delhi horsemen. Can these men drop into square? Because, uh, Bad things are happening. Push in some of my troops. It's light infantry. Position yourself ready to pick at. Pick at the bad guys. Let's get ready to get my pay out of combat.
General's bodyguard and Danny Horseman can go and engage that unit of provincial cavalry. These Nizam are upset because they've been charged by dragoons. Understandable. Halt those howitzers, begin firing quicklime. Janissaries are in. They're not devastating the Marines, which isn't ideal. You position yourselves to fire more and across the flank of those that combat there. How it says quick climb the bejesus out of that combat on the flank. Halt unlimber. These men push around in that musket fight. Or well, that melee fight, which is not going to plan. Which means I may need to commit some more firepower. I suppose he's a counter charged. You try to take out this unit of light horse. If we can do that, excellent. First of all, stop us, Pahi, from charging. Fall these men back into a musket line. There we go. This flank has collapsed. Run my other men over. Let's get my general's bodyguard. Actually, shattered, shattered, broken, shattered. Okay. So the job of these Nizam is to hold. These men hold until my other infantry hove into view. And these are enemy pikemen. Make sure we do switch to round shot and engage that unit of line infantry at the back. Run the cavalry around en masse to go intercept this massive artillery park to the rear. Channel Three Musketeers can go up, form a line there. You guys engage. Troops there. It looks like Janissary is going to tear their way through this fight. So let's keep them out on the flank. Charge my Tsipahi into the enemy dragoons. Get my general's bodyguard working on the cavalry front. So they are falling in every direction. So let's put some troops in here. And my Sepahi are probably enough to hit the Dragoons. It's a bit sporty when the General's Bodyguard to attack so many gunners. So let's bring this unit of Sepahi back over. These hand mortars. Yeah, there goes my General. worth doing though because artillery like that can cause a real morale cascade can you men just charge the gunners by hand I 
There we go. That was a bit of a sporty battle. But we brought it back. Keep the howitzers dropping shells in. It's kind of what happens if you change strategy midway through the battle, but I think it was more interesting. Hits that unit of infantry there. And there we go, the horse artillery is shattered. Charge all these men into the flank there. Bring these Sipahi back. Halt the artillery. Okay, let's go and actually pick some of these guys to continue engaging. I think that's everyone, but we're going to continue. So these two units both attack that regiment. These men hit that unit of line infantry, and this unit can hit this unit of line infantry. I mean, if they're going to run near my janissaries, I'm going to take advantage of it. At least temporarily. It looks like they're probably all going to rout, because they have successfully uh, spread out. So if I send all my cavalry now to hit this one unit, they should collectively kill them all because they'll have enough men to sufficiently spread out and hit all the men in all the random areas they need to. Only two men left. One's over here. Or one's over somewhere over here. Oh yeah, there he is. They've really spread out. There's one guy over there, and the other guy is here. Ah, he's going to get away. The men can't seem to work out the best way to kill him. Yeah, But that was a close victory. It would have been better off hunkering back, but I don't think it would have been as interesting for you guys. There you go. So we've repulsed those two armies. Bringing more men into the fight. Oh, but they don't get all the way in. Critically, that is so important. The Mughal troops are falling back. At least they'll fall back temporarily. They do not. They will. They'll be back. Oh, there's also a territory in Georgia I can build in as well. Yep, Denmark's creeping along. Not that they're going to do anything of much significance. We will... Oh, God. They're so really surrounding their capital. They don't want to get attacked. No siree. Okay, so we've got a few things to do here. Okay, first of all, ignore that. We need to go south. Repair these buildings and tuners. That's my phone alarm going up. Repair these buildings. Upgrade the mine. Upgrade the port. We can probably already march this army out of tuners. So they can push west while replenishing uh, this force in Naples you can't bring that to a Turkish bath may as well do a whole bunch of economy upgrades we all know how wealthy Naples can be so this army yeah you're a bit replenished you're a bit depleted sorry Let's go do some construction. Some Venice is 
becoming one of our Islamic territories. Let's pick up a few of these. Industry upgrades. Let's upgrade this building here. Lots of top tier buildings being built, which is great stuff. Yeah, that was the one next door that needs to be upgraded. Industrial gold mines, steam powered mines, steam pumped mines. Yeah, upgrading the mines in Bavaria. God, we do bring the. We are bringing the. Uh, Enlightened Age into Europe. We are providing jobs, financing all sorts of conflicts. We're not financing conflicts, we're ending conflicts. You need to keep realistic, you need to, I keep forgetting about road infrastructure upgrades. We need to get... okay. These men are not replenished. But we need to get them over to Finland. Because right now we are pretty exposed. I don't know why you're... okay good. That's something, at least. So then we need a general to replace the one that fell. Suleiman Haki. Probably, but we'd like an, a skirmisher unit, but that's not going to happen. Get some Janissary Musketeers. And then you can march north to intercept this force here and then they'll follow the road along the coast you are still replenishing okay so what do you need swap one of the artillery pieces for a siege gun you've got some good troops okay let's march you can't just march you guys along like that actually that's a bit dangerous do some economic upgrades, try and see if we can lure them into attacking us. You're fully replen you're fully yeah, fully replenished, that is the word. You have only got a unit of Janissaries to pick up, but you can probably march and go hit Cuxhaven. Um and we're probably gonna fight this ourselves because I don't want to be overly depleted, but looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time uh, for a fairly simple, nice, easy battle to kick off in the next episode. Cheers everyone.